And the next one we talk about briefly as well, which I thought was hilarious, <laughs> was this clip courtesy of uh, Taylor Rooks, and it posted the following: her sitting down with uh, Jimmy Butler, and um, I thought this was hilarious because, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the first time she saw Jimmy Butler up close and personal wearing those fake dreads that he recently got installed, which he so far hasn't been shameless about it. He's been promoting them heavy um, on his Instagram and whatnot, which is quite wild. But this is definitely an American thing, isn't it? I think so, an American black thing, because I don't think you would ever see this level of prominent rapper, musician, deciding to get fake dreads in their hair or extension, whatever maybe. That's not really necessarily a thing I think you see. For sure, I think it's definitely something more reserved to the the eccentrics or the people that are living the zero point zero point zero 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 point nine life. You know what I mean? But this is this is a quick clip of Taylor Roots interviewing um, what's his name, Jimmy Butler, sorry, and basically not being able to handle herself looking at his braids. One minute she's like, "Is he future? Do I want him?" And next minute she's thinking, he's thinking, mm, "I mean, life's good." <laughs> Yeah, appreciate She's busting it. She can't stop laughing. She's the longest time. She's the last to yourself. So much to discuss. <sighs> How are, are you? Are you okay, Kimbo? man? Yo, you got you got a serious problem. You got a serious problem. No, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. It's the hair touch for me. It's the hair touch. So much to discuss. That's the one, right? Because. Yeah, appreciate you. And I I think this is like I think this is like the pre-taping when they're like you know running through the mic checks. How how you doing? Exchanging pleasantries. But someone just pointed this out on Twitter, but. Imagine having fake dreads and having no beard. So he cut, like, you know, usually you'd imagine the look that you're meant to have when you have flipping dreadlocks of that nature, especially a man of Jimmy Butler's age, is that you kind of tie in with the flipping beard, right? Give yourself a real kind of um, ragamuffin, you know, Rastafarian look, right? You want to give yourself that actual vibe of the entire thing. And also, he looks, he looks great in beards. Or with a beard, or with a little... This little thing that I have, I think that's what Jimmy Butler had, right? If I'm not mistaken, but I don't, I'm not really sure. But yeah, he looks nuts. Let's just let's not say anything else. He looks nuts. But I also think you have to have supreme levels of confidence in yourself, right? Especially as a black dude, to go out there and get fake dreadlocks, because for some reason within black, um, within the you know with men in hair and whatnot, it's definitely seen as a kind of thing people look down on. Girls can do it, but guys can't. Guys, it's not something to if you're gonna do it, you don't, you don't, you don't exactly be proud of it and start doing photo shoots like he did, or maybe it's, it was a smart idea because he got in front of it. You know what I mean? And clearly he's enjoying it. He loves the fact that he has his hair in his head. It's not all fake because I'm sure some of it is sort of like sewn into his actual dreads, which he already had. But I guess they weren't growing to the rate that he wanted it at. And, you know, he's a multi-millionaire basketball player. He can do whatever he wants. So he got that, went out there and got some fake dress put in. And now he's really, really happy. But it's just hilarious that <laughs> he has this. Like I said, you have to be really confident or be insanely rich to make this work. I don't think there's any ones in between. It really isn't. Because imagine all the kids in school that used to get bullied for relaxing their hair to make it straight. Imagine just turning up to school one day and you just got a full head of dreads. Like, what am I meant to do with this information? You know what I mean? I'm, you're going to get ripped to pieces. You know what I mean? You're going to get. I'll start, Taylor. I don't have time. <laughs> it's not going to Keep the so lies much, to yourself. So much to discuss. <sighs> How are, are you, you okay, Kimbo? man? Yo, you got you got a serious problem. You got serious, you do. Something's wrong with you. Man. I cannot. She's literally crying. I'm crying now, messing up my makeup. Oh, hilarious, man. But big up Jimmy Butler, man. But look at that face, man. I don't, honestly, only an American black dude can get away with that shit. I swear to God. And it, not all of them get away with it because people in the comments are roasting, innit? Don't be, don't be shocked, right? Even in Taylor Rooks' comments. One thing to have the faux locks, but no facial hair either. She can't with the dreads, LOL. Obviously, someone coming in with a horny tweet there. Um, let's see some more comments. Like, people are roasting him, do you know what I mean? They're not, it's not exactly been the most kindest thing ever in the world there. As time goes on, oh, no, 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 continue here. It's not that funny. But yeah, 
you get the vibes and I think you mostly get the vibes of this regard. But yeah, Jimmy Butler, man, one absolute legend. I swear to God, one absolute legend. 